Well, did you know the average American generates about four pounds of trash each day? That adds up to more than 250 million tons of trash every year. Well, the good news is that more than a third of the country's trash is now repurposed into new products. But you might wonder what happens to the other two-thirds that can't be recycled. Well, joining us now is Sharon Kanish. She is the president and CEO of the National Waste and Recycling Association. She's going to explain what becomes of the trash we throw away and how it affects our communities and our country as a whole. Sharon, welcome. It's wonderful to have you with us. Thank you for, for having me. Absolutely. Well, Sharon, let's get right into it. What actually happens to the garbage that can't be recycled? Garbage that can't be recycled is taken to highly engineered, well-regulated landfills. Today's landfills are cleaner and greener than ever before. And many of these landfills actually produce natural gas. A matter, as a matter of fact, they produce enough gas to power and heat about 2 million homes and companies in this country every year. Wow, that's really fascinating. And can you tell us a little bit more about exactly how that energy is being produced from the waste? Sure. As trash is deposited in the landfill, it's covered with soil and eventually decomposes. Part of that decomposition is the generation of natural gas. So we extract that gas and send it to a power generation facility, and in some cases, it goes directly to fueling gas-powered vehicles. Okay, wow, that is very interesting. Now, let's talk about how landfills are regulated when it comes to addressing safety and environmental concerns. Landfills are highly, rec highly regulated and highly engineered. They feature containment systems that ensure there is no groundwater contamination and that minimize emissions. As a matter of fact, I had an opportunity to see firsthand uh, these containment systems being put in place. And I have to tell you, the level of engineering sophistication and protection is amazing. Okay. Now, what would you say to people who are concerned that perhaps the U.S. is running out of landfill capacity? Are we? The level of landfill capacity has remained fairly stable over the last decade or two, and we anticipate we'll have enough capacity over the next several decades. Okay, that is good news. Now, let's also talk about what happens to a landfill once it's closed. Once a landfill is closed, it is capped and monitored for many, many, many years. But it can also be put into other productive uses once it's closed. Uh, it can be used for parks, for other kinds of recreational facilities, for uh, golf courses. Uh, there are some malls that uh, sit on landfills. And as a matter of fact, Mile High Stadium was built over a closed landfill. Okay, wow, that's great to know. Now, um, Sharon, just for viewers who'd like to get some more information, whether it's about landfills or recycling or what have you, what, what can they uh, do to find that information? To learn more about how we handle all kinds of waste, including recycling, please go to beginwiththebin.com. Okay, easy to remember, beginwiththebin.com. And Sharon Kines, we appreciate your time today, and uh, thank you again for joining us. Thanks for the opportunity.